to my lucky julep box mystery box opening. I am always up for surprises in the mail and when they come from a company like Julep it makes me even happier. I own quite a few Julep polishes. I am embarrassed to admit how many I own. I am not going to tell you because it's ridiculous. Um, but I've had a subscription for a little over a year now um, and you get two to three polishes a month so you can kind of add that up. Plus I went a little nuts on one of their sales and ordered like 10 polishes because they were only like three bucks a piece. It was crazy. Went a little crazy. So this is just adding to the madness that is my Julep collection. Now, this is the thing about Julep that I'm learning. Julep comes up with some beautiful, gorgeous colors. The colors are just so creative and amazing. Um, of course, some of them are very ordinary, of course. But some of the colors are just beautiful. So that's why I continue to get Julep. Now, as far as being chip resistant, I've had really bad luck with Julep nail polishes and being chip resistant. Usually they chip on me after about a day to two days. They are not chip resistant at all, at least for the way that I treat my nails. Now, as you can see, I don't have my nails painted because I was hoping to be able to try on some of these polishes for you so you can see what they look like. We can figure out, you know, what kind of coats we're dealing with here. Let's go ahead and get into what was in this box. And if you are not familiar with the Julep subscription, the subscription itself is $20 a month. You get two to three polishes a month. Hi, Star. That's my kitty. Your first month is actually free. That's really cool. That's how they hooked me and why I'm so addicted at this point. But if you want to try a free box, I'll put my referral link down below. Everybody that has Julep has a referral link. I do pay for all of my Julep stuff outright. It is not sent to me. They don't even know that I make videos, I don't think. So let me just show you. I will put how much I paid for this uh, right here. Uh, I did end up getting, I think, two Lucky box. I don't even remember. I better look it up just so I can see what in the world I ordered. But what I ordered was the Lucky Mystery, mystery Box. You got to pick which mystery box you wanted and you could see one of the polishes you were getting. And I picked the one with Shannon and it was $25. And then um, when I went to go check out, they had some add-ons because they always do. And they had one called Nicolette, which is a white. And I do have a white polish by them, but it's a matte white and I wanted a white that wasn't matte. Um, even though I love the matte white, I wanted another one. So um, I got that. And then they had an, another mystery box add-on for another 10 bucks. Let's see. So this is Nicolette. They now come in these um, these packages here instead of bubble wrap and I like that. Okay, these are the three colors. I believe this was the $10 add-on because you didn't know what colors you were going to get. You didn't get a choice. They just said for 10 bucks we'll send you three polishes. So I got Lexi, Cassie, and Amy. Um, and I'll put the descriptions here for those three polishes and I will show you the swatches. And then this was the original $25 mystery box. And in here, I got some forget-me-not seeds. And it looks like they put in some forget-me-not seeds for uh, with the other mystery box as well. We did get some forget-me-not seeds last spring, I believe. So these are probably, they probably just had extras. And it looks like we, I got six polishes and then also a uh, glycolic hand scrub with natural apricot seeds. This facial for hands packs a 10% glycolic acid punch. Whisk away dirt and oil to re reveal noticeably softer and younger looking hands after just one use. So let's see. So this is what it looks like, the two. I want to smell it because they said it's, it's supposedly it smells really good. It smells like lotion or soap. And it definitely has like an exfoliating, like little beads in there. Let me zoom this in so you can see. So that's the way that looks. And I can feel the crunchies already. But it, I mean, it does smell nice. It's just not, you know, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go wash this off. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get into the polishes I got in that $25 one. Am I like pink? Am I extra pink all of a sudden or something? I don't know. And the first thing I'm seeing is one called Sabrina, and it is a crackle polish. And to my knowledge, crackle polishes are kind of out. Um, I'm seeing them all on discount right now, which... Mm, and it's an orange, so I'm not really happy about getting this one. Uh, it did come with, it looks like it's like a purpley black called Fiore. And then this one, I think I have this one. This one, I, I do have this one. It's Blakely. This is actually my favorite julep polish. And now I have a backup. Woohoo! Okay, I love Blakely. It is gorgeous. I'm going to show you the swatch. Just gorgeous. Oh, so excited to have that one. 
Um, I wear that, I live in the Baltimore area, and I wear Blakely during Ravens season, and everybody goes nuts. Uh, at least when the Ravens are doing well. Nobody cared last year. Uh, so, and then it came with three more. Let's see what's in here. I see a pretty one, and I see one I'm not too crazy about. Okay, this one... I don't know. This one, I'm kind of on the fence about. It's called Kennedy. It's a very nudie nudie. I don't think I have any colors like this, so it'll be nice to have something of this tone because uh, I don't think I own anything like that. And then this one's really pretty. This one's like a mint green. And what's the color here? This one is called Shannon. And it's a silk finish. I love their silk finishes. This one is going to be gorgeous. I can already tell. And then this one here is the one I'm not too sure about. This one is, looks like it's a gold brass kind of color, and it's called Tatiana. And it does look like a Latin kind of color. It reminds me of like a Midwestern kind of, you know, Southern Texas-y kind of color. I don't know. It just reminds me of desert. So yeah, so those are all of the polishes that I got. Um, I'm excited to try them and enjoy them and add them to my Julep collection. impressions after I have swatched them all kind of give you my you know my thoughts on them so as far as Nicolette goes it's exactly what I was looking for it is a you know semi glossy but not too glossy white polish the two coats were beautiful and really happy with Nicolette now this one is actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be the Sabrina I don't see the crackle uh, maybe because I did not apply it over top of another polish but all I see is like a I don't know like a it's really a matte finish um, and it's got like a shine to it it's weird it's it's hard to explain it's not glossy but there's like a little bit of like a shine that almost changes the color a little and you can see like I don't know if you saw over here as I was brushing the second coat on the second coat actually pulled a little bit of the polish off and it had actually been about an hour between coats so there's no reason for there to have been damage to the polish after that so not very happy with that overall I probably won't be using this one that often the Sabrina but it may be nice for fall maybe Halloween something like that so I am gonna keep it but it's definitely probably my least favorite out of this set. Alright, moving on to Fiore. It is a really dark, dark color. It's it's darker than polishes that I normally wear. Um, I can see this as maybe a nice base for some nail art. I can't see me wearing just this straight. Uh, it's just not my style to wear something that's that close to black, just plain. So, it might be nice for nail art, but this one I probably won't reach for a whole lot either. Um, but you can see that it was very opaque in those two coats and extremely 
extremely, extremely glossy. So really interesting color there. Now this one here, this was, this is Cassie, and I actually like this one better than I thought I would as far as the shade. Now this one was not completely opaque within the two coats. I would probably put a third coat on this for good measure. But overall, I do really think I'm going to be using this polish. It's a beautiful spring color. I am very happy with it as far as the initial application. I just think that it's a three coat polish and usually juleps are either one or two coat polish. All right, now moving on to Blakely. Now this one, I don't know why, but I don't. I remember Blakely being a little more purple than this. I haven't worn it in a while, but I, it's a little more, I mean, it's a, it's a, multi-chrome. I don't know how you call it. It's not a duo chrome because there's multiple colors uh, in there, but uh, I don't know. I don't love it as much as I did when I remember applying this a couple of years ago when the Ravens were doing so well in the Super Bowl. I see more green in it than I remember and less purple, so I don't know. Um, I do still really like it. It's an extremely unique color, but it's definitely not my favorite anymore. You know, opinions change over time. Moving on to Amy. Uh, I know I have a quite Quite a few julep polishes that are very similar to Amy, but I really think this is a beautiful color. See, it is fully opaque within two coats. Uh, it is a really pretty for spring color, and, and even into summer. It'll be nice for nail art. Uh, it's not super glossy. Uh, it is a little, looks a little deeper on the nail than it does in the bottle. Uh, I don't know if you're seeing that, but that's what I'm kind of picking up here. But I, I do enjoy the way that this applies. It's not streaky. Uh, would recommend Amy. All right, now Lexi. Lexi is not, I, I mean, neon, you know, yellow is not a color I typically wear all over my nails, but it will be nice for nail art, uh, maybe laying a, a polish over top of it, you know, it, it, as far as, you know, using a striper or a dotting tool or something to put something over top. And you'll see this one as well was a, is not a two coat polish. It's going to be more of a three coat polish. And I know that this isn't applied super cleanly. Remember, I'm not a nail artist here. I'm just a consumer, just like most of the people probably watching this. So please don't pick on my polish application you know I'm just I'm just you know I'm trying to got the camera in the way and everything but you know this this really it's it's not my favorite color to use as far as you know just being a bright yellow but I can see it being usable it'll be fine it's just it's it's not a very wearable color for me all right three colors left this one in Kennedy I actually like this a lot more than I thought I would the nudie cream color it's gonna be really pretty as a base for some nail art I know I keep talking about nail art but I can't I mean just the nudie color I think it looks a little bit weird on my skin tone I don't know what do y'all think I, I, I don't know it just it's not really my taste to wear this by itself but you know I, I think we can work with it I think we can do something with it I am happy to have it I don't have any colors like this uh, so it takes me out of my comfort zone so I, I am happy to have it it's just I don't know I'm, I'm a little I don't know about the shade I don't know if it's really me you know it doesn't really fit my personality but Definitely happy to have it. And it was a two coat polish, which I'm surprised for how lightly, for how light the color, uh, the shade is. It is a two coat polish, so very happy about that aspect. Now this one here, this one is the Shannon color, and I'm actually, this is the one that I'm actually happiest with of all the shades that I applied today. Well, there's two of them. These last two actually are my favorites. Uh, Shannon is just beautiful, this matte silk finish. I just love the way that that looks. I think it's so super pretty. Uh, I wish I had had this for St. Patrick's Day, but I think this will be a really pretty color for spring, just in general. I can see me wearing that all over my nails without any nail art. I think this is a very wearable color for me. I'm really, really happy with it. And then this was kind of the shocker for me. You know, I really didn't think that I was going to enjoy Tatiana, but it's absolutely stinking gorgeous. This is going to be a beautiful fall color. I can see wearing this to Thanksgiving dinner. I can see wearing this for, you know, right around, you know, when the leaves starting to start to change. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fall color. I'm, I'm really, really happy with this one. And I'm absolutely shocked at how much I love this polish. So, so that was my Lucky Box unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed seeing how all those polished swatches. I hope it was helpful for you. Please give this an Amy colored thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. I, of course, I always love reading your comments down below. So please uh, feel free to leave those. I'll respond to a bunch of them. I probably won't be able to respond to all of them, but I definitely will read all of your comments and I appreciate every single one of them. So thank you so much for watching. Mad love and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!